really well. It, it's uh, basically sold out of its first run. I don't know if they're going to do a second, but I, I think they can print individual copies. If, if, uh, uh, but it was a lot of fun. I did 28 readings since this came out with this uh, as the main text. Okay. Well, I'll read this one to finish off. It, it's the I kind of enjoy this poem now because after writing poetry since I was 12 and I'm 65 now, this is the only poem I've ever received requests for ever reading, so I, I might as well read it. Just a girl. When my grandmother raised a daughter and a neighbor's leftover son, during the decade-long depression outside Pilot Mound, Manitoba, without a scent, but with a green garden and some chickens, a sewing needle, lived in a 10 by 10 wooden shed, sheltered from dust by a windbreak of rattling trees she planted, the stuttering wind called, she's just a girl. When I was three and my drunken father tumbled in from work all sweat and anger, called my mother chattel, called her cooking crap, choked her with his stony fists, and my grandmother, visiting, emerged from the other room, tiny as a worn fence post, struck back, reached up and gently tapped him on his shoulder. Surprised, he turned, and she sent an upper cut into his eye blackening it from socket to drop jaw. Down he sat and wept in a chair, bad boy corrected, and always humble in her presence ever after because she was just a girl. When my youngest daughter at two and a half disappeared from the barbecue party and sent the neighborhood searching the road and vast forest above us calling out, Emma, 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 and the police were called came to join the search, and then I found her sitting like a tiny Rodin sculpture on a rock deep in the drapes of Emily Carr's forest. She looked up and said, Dad, leave me alone, I'm thinking. And she was just a girl then. And my other daughter, with children and suicide husbands and trailer court woes, rose up and juggled it all by herself, battled a different kind of depressed world, just a girl covering her beauty in a warrior face. My eldest daughter, tiny and delicate, sparred with men for a year in a Kelowna gym and got herself thumped in the first professional boxing match between women in BC, live on BC TV, just to make sure the BC Women's Boxing Federation could occur. Puffed up on the front page, a giant purple grape, she never fought again, securing sports territory she'd won for other women, then left for Japan to learn the perfect arrangement of flowers. Just a girl. When I meditate and see the love of women surrounding me, grandmothers, mothers, daughters, and lovers, the greatest value and security, the best memories and lessons at this juncture in my lengthening life, when I hear their voices, their deepest care, their patient resistance to weaker male fear, I swear they're all just girls. All around the whirly world, everything here comes from them, and everything returns to the mother again, and she's just a girl, in pink or blue or you, or sitting next to you, just a bindi and a yantra, just ruler of all tantra, all the men like muddy water, caught in the hoofprint of a cow, and compared just a girl, all oceans and seas, now in dance with grandmother moon, just a girl, why we breathe, who lifts us up in our death, who delivers us each life to breath, just a girl, Om Krim Kalikai Amana, just a girl, Om Krim Kalikai Amana, just a girl, Om Krim Kalikai Amana, just a girl, Kali, Kali, Kali. Yeah. Thank you.